Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the Superbooth show in Berlin. I'm with Ben from Superlative Audio. How are you doing? Great. Oh, well, Superlative Audio is another new name to me, although you have been around for a year or two. You've already made one very fine synthesizer, and at this show you're launching another one, which we're sitting in front of. This is the Mono Lab. Yes. Tell us a bit about this, because it's not only is it quite a pack a lot of functionality into quite a small space, it's also a beautiful piece of industrial design. Thank you. Um, yeah, the Mono Lab is a new form factor, uh, semi-modular, that I'm debuting at the show. It's a distillation of uh, a lot of ideas I love in kind of vintage uh, analog synths and, and modulars throughout history. Um, so I'm pulling all those together in a really compact form. That's uh, I've worked on this really clear conceptual mapping of the different blocks of subtractive synthesis to lay it out in a really clear way that um, a beginner could approach it. But it also has a lot of voltage control over parameters, a lot of little nuances that go really deep. So there's something there to uh, start with from an educational perspective, but also some really deep performance stuff and sound uh, shaping. So it's semi-modular in the sense that something like an MS-20 would be? Exactly, yeah. Um, so with no patching, you have a really uh, clean, normal signal flow of the VCF, uh, VCO going to the VCF, going to the VCA. You have your modulators, which are normal to each block, um, sort of in a, in a classic path. And then it's got CV control over, and gate control over pretty yeah. much every parameter. CV gate in, and then there's, um, there's a bunch of different uh, CV uh, controllable parameters. For example, the uh, envelope time constant can actually be controlled by CV. Um, so if you cycle that, there's a unique cycle mode that goes up to audio rate. You have uh, CV control over time. You can use this as an audio modulator. That's just one example. Wow, so sort of easy to get to grips with, but also very deep once you start playing with it. Yeah, it, it looks clean. It can get super filthy. Um, you have a full-fledged oscillator. The filter can go into self-oscillation. The LFO is kind of a hidden VCO, which goes up to audio rate and tracks vault per octave. And then you have this uh, audio rate cycling envelope. So you can have four different audio rate modulations that can give you sort of formant type synthesis, uh, crazy noises, heterodyne kind of stuff. I'm just, I'm just still learning about how crazy it can get, but you can pull it back and then it's just a classic warm fat uh, analog mono synth. And in terms of the origins of the designs of the original elements, are they based on classic synthesizers or are they your own designs? Um, there's a kind of a mix of both. I've sort of tried to adapt what I like and push it forward, uh, sort of like the Space B. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of what, what I would have wanted in my first semi-modular, it's something that I want to use. Amazing. So how soon is this going to be available to buy? Um, I'm hoping to be able to ship this fall, the same time as the Space B. Cool. And do you know what it's going to cost? Uh, no cost. Final, final cost right now. Um, not, not exactly sure, but I'm going to be doing a deep dive uh, in June, full specs. Um, more sound overviews, and then hopefully maybe a price target around then. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just was, you know, proud to show it, and then you know get some feedback, and then get to work on shipping this fall. Well, I imagine the feedback has been pretty positive because it's been one of the things that everyone has mentioned to me. Great. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping we can hear it in action. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Uh, one more thing that I'll that I'll mention. Uh, it's it's part of this new form factor that's uh, under an inch thin. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a series of modular that I'll hopefully be filling in in coming years and developing, but this is just the first in line. So it's like a freestanding format? Yeah, it, it, will, uh, it will tie into something larger, but um, yeah, I have these wire stands which can mount in 30 degree, 60 degree or, or flat. Uh, it's pretty flexible. There's a lot of uh, different ideas. Amazing.